So one of the most common symptoms experienced during a migraine headache is that of light sensitivity, also known as photophobia. And in this video, we're going to be taking a look at the new Avalux migraine glasses. This is a new and super cool glasses lens technology, which has been showing real promise in the research at both reducing light sensitivity due to migraines, as well as reducing the amount of medications people need to use during a migraine attack. And be sure to stick around to the end because I'm going to be sharing three tips that have significantly helped me with dealing with my own migraines. Let's take a look. Hey, what's up? Dr. Joseph Allen here from the Dr. Eye Health Show. And on this channel, we do a lot of education around eye diseases, their treatments, but also showing off different eyewear and vision products, which a lot of people don't know about because I know that these things are gonna be able to help people out. Now, at the timing of this video, the price of a single pair of Avalux migraine glasses comes in around three to 400 US dollars. But thankfully, they do also come with a 60-day money-back guarantee and boast over a 90% success rate. So if you are on the fence about investing that level of money, thankfully, with the money-back guarantee, they might be worth a try. Now, at this time, they come in two different options. They come as a non-prescription or plano pair of lenses that come in a frame that you can choose off their website. They do have prescription lenses if you live in the United States, but they do also have a frame that they will send out to you that comes with a clip-on pair. That way you can take those frames to a local eye clinic, have your prescription lenses put into them, and then you have the clip-on pair to use whenever you feel like a migraine may be coming on. Now what you get with the glasses are of course the Avalux migraine glasses lenses. They also feature an anti-reflective coating to help reduce any sort of glare, but they also come in a carrying case and with a microfiber lens cloth. Now, digging into the research, the approach that the Avalux company has been using is honestly quite impressive. This is a completely new lens technology and is based around a kind of using a selective filter that blocks out wavelengths of light, which are known to trigger migraine headaches. Through the research, they did find that wavelengths of light in the blue, as well as amber red zones of light are really sensitive for triggering a retinal photopigment called melanopsin, which is associated with migraine headaches. Now, I've personally been testing out and using the Avalux migraine glasses for over a year now. Uh, I usually only get migraines, you know, maybe a few times a year. When I was younger, I used to get them all the time. Uh, through some of the tips I'll share at the end, I've been able to reduce a lot of my migraines, but I wanted to fully test these out before doing this review, so it's taken me a little bit. Now, the Avalux lenses are different from any other typical sunglasses uh, or even compared to other migraine glasses that exist out there. Instead of them coming off as like a bright pink lens or anything like that, they, they do come off as a very subtle light gray lens. However, depending on the light that you're looking through the lens, I'll tell you, it's, it's kind of perplexing to myself because depending again on the lighting, the lenses may look either somewhat green or somewhat pink. And it kind of, again, really depends on the type of lighting that you're looking through. What is nice though, is that they are a very light colored lens. And that means they work not just outdoors in bright sunlight, but they also work indoors because with a lighter amount of light coming through that lens, that means you're not going to light adapt to them, such as if you're wearing a dark pair of sunglasses indoors. And that avoids kind of the light adaption effect where we're worried if you're wearing a dark pair of sunglasses indoors, you're going to train your brain and lower your threshold for even being able to handle indoor lighting. So again, these lenses being that lighter color shouldn't be causing that light adaptive effect. Now for the most part, because of the way the lenses work with their dual band filter, Filter, it really does try to eliminate blues and then those amber red colors. So what ends up being let through those lenses are in fact more of a green light. So most things that you're looking through almost have just a very subtle green hue to it. And over the last year for myself, whenever I did have a migraine attack coming on, I was able to go ahead and switch onto these lenses. And I'll be honest, I do feel like they have helped me. In the more recent months, I did have a migraine attack here when I was at home in my home office. And thankfully, I was able to put on the glasses and I felt like I was doing just fine to keep on working. Because we know when we have migraines, uh, sometimes it's hard to keep on working and have a functional daily life. But at least these were able to reduce my light sensitivity and just help me keep on going. I wasn't really experiencing any of those really 
head, eye, pounding, painful experiences that you get with bright lights during that attack. So for me, I feel like these glasses have helped in reducing light sensitivity and irritation kind of that you get from just those bright lights. Now, of course, I recognize everybody's migraines are a little bit different. Some people have really extreme migraines with more neurological symptoms. Uh, myself, I've always suffered more from uh, having aura prodromes early on and then having the migraine attack much later. Uh, and usually my migraines that I get only last maybe a day. Uh, well, I know other people can last up to like 72 hours and they'll get many in a month. So thankfully for me though, uh, the light sensitivity I get, these have helped. Now, I personally don't wear the Avalux glasses all of the time. If you follow me on Instagram or my stories, you'll see me wearing different pairs of sunglasses or maybe transitions lenses most of the time. And then I, I just carry Avalux glasses with me in case a migraine attack happens, and then I put those on. I think what also is exciting for me as a healthcare practitioner is because a lot of people with migraines, we haven't really had kind of the best answers to really help with other than uh, updated prescriptions and maybe sunglasses. But now the Avalux brand is even trying to uh, uh, reach for having like a true like FDA approval lens uh, as a treatment. So right now they're going through that process, but they are available to purchase just online. And it's good to see that this company's doing research and trying to make good products to help people. Now I have three quick tips to help you with your migraine headaches. But first, eye health question of the day. What have you found that has helped you the most with your migraine symptoms? Has it been medication, glasses, or maybe a lifestyle change perhaps? And hey, if you wanna read any research or information further about the Avalux glasses or light sensitivity specifically, I'll put links and additional information in the YouTube description below. So tip number one for dealing with migraine headaches is that of know your triggers. If you dive into the research at all, there's a lot of known triggers for activating migraine headaches and even making them worse. For myself, back in 2016, I switched to more of a whole food, plant-based diet, meaning I kind of kicked out a lot of bad food, a lot of processed foods, and that dramatically reduced the amount of headaches I was getting. Even more recently, I spoke to a migraine specialist that I often refer my patients to, and her and her staff mentioned that especially processed meats like sausage, bacon, and hot dogs, things like that, are a well-known trigger for migraine headaches. Tip number two is to stay hydrated and get good sleep. I know for myself, if I feel a prodrome like again, I get the or migraine with auras, so I see the flashing lights and everything off to my side, or even a couple of days beforehand, I can feel like a tingly sensation on my scalp. And I've learned that that's usually giving me kind of a hint that, hey, I'm gonna get a migraine in a day or two. And I've noticed that if I push myself to stay hydrated and get really good sleep, like I dedicate time extra time that I'm getting good sleep, I don't either, I either just avoid getting that migraine headache or at least it's not as severe. And tip number three is to check out my other video on tips to help you get the most accurate glasses prescription at your next eye exam. Because if you're wearing an inaccurate or outdated glasses prescription, that can lead to unwanted eye strain and trigger a headache. So go ahead and click or tap the screen over there and we'll see you in that next video. See ya.